Hi, how's it going? Is the uh, is the McRib back on the menu? McRib, yeah. Yeah, McRib. Okay, can I get a, a McRib? Hey, what's up? It's Who The F is JC, or James, as most of the world knows me. And welcome back to another snack slash junk food related piece of content here on YouTube. This is gonna be an awesome video because I'm going to taste test for the very first time a legendary fast food item that's back on the menu over at McDonald's. I'm actually gonna lose my mouth virginity to the McRib. That's right, the McRib is back on the menu. No, the McRib is a legendary fast food item. And I say that because it's, I feel like it's kind of inspired what Taco Bell is doing with their, uh, their food items. They put it on the menu, and then they take it away, and they create the desire to get it back. And then once they bring it back, everybody flocks to the restaurant to check it out. Now this, actual fast food menu item is actually inspired episodes uh, of the simpsons and other tv things it's mentioned in uh, movies and other pieces of media so that's why i feel like the mcrib falls into a legendary category in terms of fast food items now before we get into the actual taste test i want to ask if you like this video please give it a like drop a comment let me know what you thought about the mcrib if you've had it before also why not subscribe to the channel? I'm always posting tons of snack-related content, video game-related content, and unboxing. And remember, of course, you can always tune in and watch me taste test and snack live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash who the F is JC. Now, with all the shameless plugs out of the way, it's time to dig in to this delicious McDonald's menu. Now, let's talk about the McRib. So, just the smell alone of the McRib is like a almost like a smoky, like barbecue, like aroma that was been, that's been tickling my nostrils since I put this fast food item in the car and drove it here to record this video. So it comes in this little box like this, look at that. You might even have to make sure you ask the people at the McDonald's if it's back on the menu, because when I pulled up, there wasn't a single sign, there wasn't even a single mention, not a word about the McRib. Now, oh, I'm just getting close to my face. It smells delicious. You pick up like a smoky barbecue and like a pickle, some vinegary, like pickle. So there must be a pickle on here because I can smell it uh, through the container, which I'm surprised because I know there's a couple things I need to pick off this McRib, like onion. I don't eat onion. I'm not going to eat the onion. I'm going to pick it off the McRib, but I'm going to eat the rest of it and uh, go from there. But right now it smells delicious. Let's open up the lid. Look at that. It's much bigger than I thought it would be. And I guess that's what she said, right? But yeah, look at the McRib, you can see it in all its glory. Yeah, like a hoagie bun there, maybe. Take the lid off, or take the top off. Okay, so you can see there's a little bit of sauce. You got some onions and some pickles. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to pick the onions off here. Let me get this old, the bag it came through. It came in, pick these onions off. I just don't eat onion. Raw onion is a, is a no-go for me. We'll keep the pickles. I'm a pickle man. I'm a pickle man! I don't mind some pickles. And uh, I'm gonna recenter the pickles here. Maybe we'll redistribute the pickles a little bit so I can get some pickle in the first bite I take. I'm put a pickle there, put a pickle here. I thought it would be saucier, to be honest. I thought there'd be a li little bit more sauce. But uh, actually, let me flip this over because you can see the amazingness in this chemically made piece of rib. Oh, yes, I am the master of fake foods. I love fake ass foods. I love chemically made foods. I love putting some science in my cuisine. And this is, I think, going to hit that really hard right in the gut uh, in terms of science and manufactured food. So let me redistribute my pickles. Looks like somebody cut like a little heart shape in this pickle. Look, it's a heart shaped pickle. Now it looks more like a triangle. Never mind. Okay, get the pickles back on. Top of the bun back on. Ooh, we got some barbecue fingers. Mmm, mm, mm, sweet and smoky. Like a nice, sweet, smoky uh, barbecue flavor. Mm, that's actually really good. I'm really digging the smell and the taste. Oh, we got a, we got a rogue onion. We got an onion that went rogue. Get out of here. I'm trying to sneak into my mouth. Tricky little onion. So here we go. Oh my gosh. The moment I've been waiting. Uh, I don't know. The thing's what been out for how many years? 10, 15, 20 years. I think this is the year it's like hitting some sort of a crazy anniversary, but I got my first bite of the McRib right now. Oh, here we go. Mmm.
I like it. It's very good. I can't believe I waited this long to eat one of these. So, you get the, the sweet smokiness of the barbecue sauce. You get um, some chewy, uh, chewy but in a good way, like the kind of chewy you want when you're eating a piece of rib meat, a piece of pork. Um, it tastes just like ribs. So, uh, I think it's very, very well done. I'm gonna take another bite. Uh, the, the pickle really helps uh, bring a little extra crunch and a little bit of like the vinegary uh, flavor from the pickles. Heck yeah, man, this is, people were like, you're not gonna like this sandwich. Get something else, but oh my God. My mind is being blown right now because I wasn't expecting to actually enjoy this McRib. I figured this would be a one-time thing. I'm gonna get the McRib, but I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna pick one of these up at least once or twice more, hopefully, before they're taken off the menu. Um, I think it's really good. I'm really enjoying the flavor. To me, it tastes, uh, it tastes like ribs. It actually tastes like a rib sandwich. Like they, somebody actually pulled the meat between those two ribs and slapped it on a bun, covered it in barbecue sauce, and served it up uh, on a platter for you to eat. I'm digging it. Uh, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up on the McRib. If I were to compare it to a similar sandwich, if you've ever gone to the gas station, like a Speedway, a Circle K, sometimes they have these uh, pre-frozen rib sandwiches. I would say it's similar to that, but it tastes much more on the high end. It tastes like a high end version of that. Um, but I do love the a gas station rib sandwich. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't turn one down if somebody handed it to me. But um, yeah, the McDonald's make rib sandwich takes the gas station rib sandwich times a thousand. Uh, delicious. I can't believe I waited this long to try one of these. Um, I gotta have to end this video so I can eat more of this make rib sandwich. Oh my goodness. Can't wait to take one more bite. Yes. Uh, so good. I need to do. I do need to ask for maybe a little extra sauce, and uh, that's the one thing I feel like is lacking. I wish there was a little bit more sauce on it. It's uh, it's the one thing I feel like it could use. Great flavor, great texture. I was worried the texture was gonna be too rubbery in my mouth, but I think the texture is right on. Like it literally tastes like rib meat. I mean, you can tell it's not a real rib because it's not as gristly and it's not getting stuck in your teeth like actual real ribs do. At least the ribs that I cook usually do that. So um, I would say this is great. I would. Uh, if you're into weird, not real food, real foods, try this. Give it a whirl. Uh, I know a lot of people say that they don't care for it, but uh, if you're on, uh, if your taste buds are in line, uh, the same type of stuff that my taste buds are in line with, I think you would greatly enjoy this. So I'm gonna wrap up this video and end it so I can finish eating this and chow down on the rest of these French fries. But that's it. That is my loss of my mouth virginity to the McDonald's McRib. It is back in stores for a limited time starting, I think today, I think today's the first day, it's November 1st. So it's the first day it's been available in restaurants again. And I highly encourage you, if you have, if your taste buds are in line with mine, check it out. Give it a whirl, give it a taste. Wrap your lips around that big old beefy, actually probably big old porky McRib. And let me know what you thought about it. Drop a comment down below if you've tried the McRib before or what you thought about it. If you haven't tried it and you try it for the first time after watching this, come back and let me know what you think. Was I right? Did you enjoy it or do you hate it? I'm fine either way, but uh, let me know. And again, if you do enjoy this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up once. You know, give it a thumbs up, uh, drop a comment, or if you want to be really nice, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do that by hitting that little subscribe thing. Oh, this side, this side, I'm not sure. The camera's in reverse, so I'm not sure which side I'm pointing at. So. It's down there below. You can hit that, hit that uh, little bell notification so you get notified the second I post a new video to the YouTube channel. And again, I'm always taste testing new foods, snacks, and all that kind of stuff on my Twitch channel. I do these just snacking streams, so make sure you tune in for those. You can find more information about that over at twitch.tv slash whothef is JC. And don't forget, tune in weekday mornings to Dave and Chuck the Freak in Detroit, Tampa, Fort Myers and Boston. And get the information on where you can hear that show over at DavidChuckTheFreak.com. And uh, that's it for this video. Uh, enjoy yourselves a McRib because I'm going to go enjoy mine. And we'll talk to you next time on the next snacking related video that we do. Sayonara, sucker!